Ella loves. Ella loves. Okay, so welcome back to We Are Androgyny. I'm actually like dolled up right now because I'm heading to the studio. Um, I'm normally like never this dolled up for you guys. Um, let's move on to the topic of this week because I'm kind of sitting here staring at the camera. So let's get started. Um, actually, our this week's actually our holiday week. So the topic of this week is um, where we see ourselves in five years and or what we're thankful for, I guess. Um, because I know only Americans, well, I know Alexis doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, but it's more of an American thing to celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't know if Ricardo does too, but um, yeah. So that's just gonna like sneak it in there and maybe we'll have you guys um, who aren't from the US celebrate with us. Um, just yeah, give us what you're thankful for kind of thing. Um, yeah, okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start off with where I see myself in five years. Um, okay, so hmm, in the next five years, I would have to say I see my, well, really right now, everything I'm doing is setting myself up actually for the next five years. Um, TAM photography is blossoming and it's just uh, so amazing, so overwhelming. And if you didn't know, um, Tuesday, which will be tomorrow, um, is the anniversary of Tate Diamond Photography. I've been, I started the business myself a year ago and yeah, it's just grown so, so much. I'm so proud of it. It's like my baby. I don't know. It's just, it's very, it's a very emotional feeling to have like created something and have it like grow and just to see it improve and like all the work you put into it and like, I don't know. It's just a weird, weird feeling, but it's an amazing feeling. Um, yeah, I, like I have, like it's just weird for me to say that I own a business. I own my own brand. I own my own company and I'm only 20 years old. Um, I started the company when I was 19. Um, and yeah, so fuck an education. I can do this shit by myself. I'm going off topic. So, yep. Five years, I would see Tate Diamond Photography becoming even bigger than it is now. Like, I know I'm gonna start shooting like even bigger, more popular people, but I'm trying to keep it very Native American, if you know what I mean. Like, I wanna bring in Native American artists and um, influential Native American people, icons into my photography. Like, I wanna shoot them and bring like a couture or avant-garde type of look to Native American art and irregalia. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm focusing on now, but I hope to get even more like with it. Um, but I'm working on so, so much. I'm so busy, it's crazy, so. I got music now. I've been with the vocal coach, with my vocal coach again. I initially stopped music in 2010 due to a really shitty manager. And yeah, I stopped music. It's just It was just a bad memory, but now I feel like I've grown since then and I've been so much, I feel so much stronger now. So I feel like I can really take that on and I guess get back into it without feeling bad. No more bad juju. And I'm doing, so I'll be doing music, um, 10 hour photography. I have a huge announcement that I was supposed to um, announce the same day as Hidam Photography's anniversary, but I'm thinking of saving it till December because I don't want to have like two things going on at once, you know? Like, I don't want to have like a, I'm just thinking long term, like, I don't want to have like a T. A. Diamond Photography anniversary party and this other project anniversary party, like on the same day, just because I like to party. So I don't want it on the same day. So I think I might save it until either December or the end of this month to release everything and like get it started. But um, it, it's gonna be amazing. Like, I'm so excited. It's been so hard for me to keep this in. Um, I've been working on this since, I think, May. And it's just, it's been amazing just to do this and like to have the support from people. And I am still overwhelmed at times that I have a career. And like, at times it doesn't even feel like it. Like, it feels like I'm just doing this on my own and I'm pretty much the backbone to my company myself. Um, I really did not have support from anybody in the sense that nobody paid for this, nobody paid for that, nobody gave me this, nobody gave me that. I had to struggle, save money, and then like 
um, bring it up myself. And really what I'm trying to do with this um, is to show people, especially Native American homosexuals, or even Native Americans in general, that you can be different. You can branch out and do stuff that you want to do. You don't have to be the normal, like, athlete to get recognition. You don't have to be the normal, like, straight person to get recognition. You don't have to be, like, this strong manly man to get recognition. Because obviously, I am none of those things. But I still get recognition. And I notice I get a lot more respect now. Um, that I've become so involved with the public eye. And especially through YouTube. YouTube has really been, like, coming back to YouTube has been so amazing for me. But I keep going off topic. I'm sorry. I'm probably boring the shit out of you guys. But I don't know. I'm just very emotional. Like, I don't know. It's just so exciting to realize that your dreams are being, like, met. Or you're actually doing something good with yourself. And that makes you feel good. But you're also making other people so proud of you as well. Like, that just feels so amazing to me. And it's something that I've always wanted to do. But yeah, in five years, I see myself owning my own company. Like, I want to see Tay Diamond as a bigger brand than it already is. Like, I have a clothing line. I have the photography company. I have this new project, which does involve um, We Are Androgyny. So the rest of the cast knows that now you are going to be part of my big project. Um, it's going to be amazing. And um, it's just, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing a lot for somebody my age. And for somebody who comes from my background, like growing up very poor and not really having everything I wanted at first and then, you know, kind of like fighting for what I wanted and showing people that honestly it does get better. Like, I think I'm pretty much one of the most successful people in my high school class and my class was probably the biggest that graduated from my school. Um, I know it's probably not going to sound like a lot to some people, but my town's very small and our class was like 153. And I know, like, more than half of them ain't doing shit. Like, they're all mothers and fathers who are trying to work to support their kids. Or they have a child on the way. And, like, Tay Diamond is my child, but it's going to be a successful child. And it's going to help me more than I'm going to help it. But, yeah, I just really want to establish my career. I want to go mogul with this. Like, the first Native American to go mogul. Because, obviously... Is hard because I have the odds against me already. Like, I'm openly gay. Um, I'm Native American. You don't hear of any Native Americans becoming super iconic. Um, and the fact that I don't fit in really with society. Like, I stand out in the crowd. Um, I'm just different. And I've always been like that. And, yeah, five years. I just hope I'm moving on and progressing on the path that I am now. Um... But yeah, I eventually want to start making music again. I want to start doing film again. I want to start acting again. Um, and I want to start doing fashion again. Like, my clothing line is amazing. I'm already working on the second line. Um, and I want to do, like, backpacks and buttons and jeans and hats because I'm always asked where I get my stuff and half the time I usually make it or I thrift a lot. I love thrift stores. I love vintage clothing. And that's the, where the majority of my stuff comes from. And, like, some people are like, oh my god, I love that. And, like, sometimes I'll take stuff. I dress super androgynous. But at the end of the day, I still look like a girl. But, um, yeah, usually I make, I alter my own clothes. And I would love to, like, make an androgynous line. But, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to do as of now. Um, but, yeah, I'm so committed to We Are Androgyny. It's something that I'm happy that I created. And I'm so happy that each one of you is, like, initially on the channel. Um... Like, you all bring something different, something amazing. And I'm, like, so happy that you all, like, decided to join the channel and that you, that you did want to, like, post and you were taking time out of your schedules to, like, post with me on here. Oh, my God, I'm getting so emotional. I better stop. Um, yeah, just thank you guys for being on the channel. And, um... Thank you for the support, I guess. Um, I don't know. You guys are all amazing and beautiful. I love each one of you. And I haven't even met any of you, but it's kind of weird to say. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like this could be something bigger than it already is. I feel like this could be the next thing. 
and as long as you guys are committed and you keep like posting and giving what you like just I don't know as long as you want to keep doing this thank you um, I know it's gonna get hard at times and yeah I'm just thankful for each of you guys oh my god I snuck that in there <laughs> I'm thankful for each one of you guys um, Thankful for my fans. I'm thankful for my friends. Um, thankful for the people who support me. And if you haven't already, please go check out TNM Photography today and or tomorrow because I will post the new pictures. Um, like the new lineup of TNM Photography is the new like shoot I'm shooting. Sounds kind of weird to say, but yeah, it's called Rise of the Third Queen. So that's gonna be on there. Um, I don't know if I'll like highlight it, but. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description over the emotional, and I'm hot, and I don't want to cry anymore, so my hormones are all fucked up. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just, let's just move on. Um, I love you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to give the final thoughts of the week and address everybody, well, all three of you who posted, so let's get started with Alexis's video. Okay, oh my god, I love your, like, facial hair growing out. Like, it's amazing, like... It kind of remind me of Wolverine. <laughs> I don't know why. Like I just see like Wolverine in your in your facial hair. Um, but I'm excited to see how you're gonna cut your hair, Alexis. And yeah, I really did like pretty much connected with you in your video. Oddly enough, when you were talking about how people would have all this tomfuckery and just be very ignorant and a bunch of dumb ass motherfuckers when it comes to being androgynous in school or being very girly because I wasn't really androgynous in school as I showed you before but I did have well I do have a very feminine body I have an hourglass shape I have huge birthing hips um I have ass um and yeah like I have always was confused for a girl even when I looked grungy as hell and also if you haven't seen my androgyny in high school video um i'll link that somewhere here um so yeah go check that out as well um yes darling i'm very busy extremely busy and yeah <laughs> thanks for recognizing it wednesday okay so yeah my cousins are about 13 10 and six i believe so yeah, don't worry, they ain't gonna go get you. Them is just children. Well, okay, so about the you not addressing us thing, of course I'm gonna jump on you because girl, I need to hear your voice. I don't wanna read no damn description. I got dyslexia, so you know, it makes it hard to read sometimes, girl, okay? So you know, I'll be reading your shit backwards and it comes out really dirty, so that's not cute, okay? Move on, darling. Shenberry like a diamond. And let's go to Friday, bitches. I'm sorry, love. Um, I'm so glad I'm out of school because I hate tests, but I love testicles. Uh, I'm actually watching each one of your videos. For anyone standing Shut up. in a room, there's 43 pages test. Haha, <laughs> you're tired. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really know what I can address in your video. Um, you had a breakdown. I'm sorry. I would give you a hug if we were in the same section of the world. Um, so yeah, I'll just send a hug via YouTube. Um, hug. It's my attempt at a hug, not that you're this small, but I'm hugging your face on the camera or on the screen. So that kind of looks like a butt. I love you. Um, but yeah, that's it. And also, at the end of this video, I'm going to add a little snippet of... Um, the new Rise of the Third Queen collection. Well, not really collection because you can't buy it, but the new Rise of the Third Queen shoot. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy. I hope you come view the actual um, page on the 20th of November. And yeah, thanks, loves. I'll see you all next week, Monday. And hopefully, it won't be a manic Monday like it is this week. Um, and yeah, um, I should have things calmed down by then. And I'm excited. This Friday is Black Friday. Like, I get to go shopping. I'm gagging right now. Like, I'm the, the worst person <laughs> to be there on Christmas because, like, I go shopping for other people, but I come home with, like, 50 things for me and one person for that person I'm supposed to, like, buy for. Because in my family, we draw names and you, like, buy a present from that person. And I got a boy this year, my stepbrother, but, um, yeah, um, he's a boy, like a teenager now, so I don't know, like, what to buy. Like, what do boys like? I really don't know. But yeah, um, one thing I haven't been doing in the videos is really interacting with the viewers. Um, 
but yeah if you guys have any questions please leave them below um if you want to know anything please ask us ask away um if you want us to do any challenges please leave it below as well leave a video response telling me um what are you thankful for this year and or um what are you gonna do this black friday if you go out black friday and also the channel like do you guys go out for black friday because i look forward to, to it each year like girl i am i go crazy during black friday like shit is crazy like i i remember like two years ago i think i hit an old lady but it was like with my cart and her ass was really slow and i was trying to get to like the makeup because the makeup was buy one get three free so you know i was like Kush! and um yeah, I kind of just, like, hit her with my cart. But she was okay. Like, she was a big girl. So, like, the cart hit her ass and it kind of rippled to her vagina. And she probably got, like, a thrill from that. So, you know, win-win situation. Um, but, yeah. Um, thanks, loves. I'll see you next week Monday. I said that twice now because I'm kind of bored and ranting and kind of getting hyper because I'm drinking nuts. I'm, like, I don't know. So long. But, yeah. Thanks, loves. See you next week Monday, bitches. Mm -hmm.